All right, let's jump right into it. The backup password used for restoring your Authy account is not stored on Authy servers. The password is only something that you have. Nobody else has this. This is why I stress in all my videos in regards to 2FA that you should write down your passwords and place them somewhere safe. Don't ever keep a digital copy of this. Don't take a capture. Don't send it to somebody for them to save it for you. Don't email it to yourself. Don't email it to a friend, family member, or anybody like that. Right? Always write it down on a piece of paper and put it somewhere safe. Right? Now, I want to make it very clear that the backup feature is an opt-in feature. Right? Now, what does this mean? This means that you must allow for the Authy application to allow for backups to occur. The only way for you to do this is for you to manually enable it yourself within the application settings. All right now, you would need to check out my video on how to install Authy to see where this is located. All right, you're not required to enable backups to use the Authy application. You can choose not to enable backups. All right, if you choose to not enable backups, then your Authy application will essentially operate just like Google Authenticator's application. Right now, what does that mean? That means that you won't have the ability to recover your accounts in the event that you lose your phone, whether it gets stolen or something similar. Right now, here's the meat and potatoes of this video. So, pay very close attention. Go grab a pencil and pa uh, and paper if you want. All right. One. When a backup takes place. Your phone encrypts that data before it sends it off to all these servers to be stored. Right? Two, the encrypted data that you have sent over to Authy cannot be viewed by any means by anyone at Authy. Right? They can't encrypt, they can't decrypt, excuse me, they can't decrypt the data to view what's inside. Only your phone has the ability to do that. Right now, what exactly do I mean by encryption? What do I mean by encryption? I'm not going to get into the technical details of how they use encryption. So I'm going to do my best to show you a visual representation of what encryption and decryption is. Note, well, quick, quick disclaimer for my developers and other tech techie people. I'm well aware of the core elements of encryption, right? This is my watered down version of my explanation of encryption and decryption for the folks who are not so tech savvy. So relax, don't take my head off. All right. Now, when you type something on the screen, you read it in what we call in the tech world, plain text or clear text, right? For example, this is your password in plain text slash clear text. This is your password in its encrypted form. This is the same thing as this. All right. Now, in simpler terms, encryption is the process of taking your unencrypted password or text and transforming it into its encrypted form to make it unreadable by an attacker or anybody else like them, right? Here is the, here's an example of decryption. You're taking the encrypted form of your password or your data and you're transforming it back into its plain text form. Now, in order to encrypt or decrypt something, the device doing the encryption or decryption, in this case, that device is your cell phone, it's got to have a key to get this done, right? This key must be kept safe, okay? No one else should have access to this key. Otherwise, they would be able to decrypt your information and have access to all your sensitive data, all right? Now, here's a really cool thing about the Authy application. The key that's used to decrypt and encrypt your data is only stored on your phone. It's not stored anywhere else. Right? It's not stored on Authy servers. It's not stored on some hidden server, some, some, some hidden server somewhere on the internet. It's only stored on your device. No one else has access to this. Right? Now, the servers at Authy, as I stated before, 
do not have the ability to decrypt your information. It's impossible because, like I said earlier, they do not have the key to unlock your data. It's literally impossible because the key is in your possession 100% of the time. All right, so if someone at Authy wanted to go rogue, a disgruntled employee, right? If they wanted to, to, to get the company back and they wanted to view your information, they wouldn't be able to. It would be a complete waste of time. All right? Your backup password is your encryption and decryption key. Okay, I want to make it very clear that this is exactly the reason why it is impossible for Authy to restore your account if you misplace your backup password. All right, your backup password is essentially your encryption and decryption key. All right, to make to make it more simple, you can essentially view Authy's servers as a storage facility for your encrypted data. I'm going to repeat that. To make it even more simpler, you can view Authy servers as a storage facility for storing your encrypted data. Nothing else. All right? Let me break it down even further for you. Check this out. So, I can attempt to steal your codes by installing Authy on my phone using your cell number. Even if I were successful in doing so, and I say even if because there are other security checks that Authy has in place so I can't just install your codes on my phone, even if they're encrypted, right? But let's say I was even able to do that, right? Authy would essentially send me your encrypted data, right? I'll have that encrypted data on my phone, right? I'll have your encrypted data on my phone, let me be clear. Right, but the phone, but the the data would be encrypted. I wouldn't be able to see your codes. Right, so basically, Authy in this situation, Authy hand me over your encrypted data because they're expecting for me to have your key to unlock the data, which is impossible. Why? Because I don't have your cell phone. Only you have your cell phone. Okay, so now do you see why it's difficult for somebody to steal your codes? Do you see why it's difficult for Authy to see your codes? Do you see why it's difficult for Authy to restore your account if you lose your key, aka your backup password? So let me ask you, why would anyone install Authy if they won't take advantage of the reason why it was created to begin with? Take a few moments to think about that. I hope this video helped. Rewatch this video as many times as you can until it sinks in. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now, I want to state that uh, I generally don't post a lot because one, I'm busy with other projects, and two, I'm only gonna post content that I'm knowledgeable in, right? I've been in the tech field for almost a decade now. So there's a few things I'm quite knowledgeable in. I'm not looking to post trendy content for likes or subscribes. If I did that, I'd be doing you a disservice. Thank you for watching.